What is up, all my dumpster peeps? How in the heck are you guys? And look, my zit's going away. Finally. <laughs> so, happy 4th of July to all of my dumpster peeps. I hope you all are having a fantabulous holiday. <coughs> I'm choking on my own spit. I made my whole family, non-alcoholic, strawberry mango daiquiris. So I brought mine on the road. But it's so good. Listen, you need to make these. They are just so amazing. Me and my husband went to Red Lobster, I don't know, like three years ago. No, it was before our kids were born. Oh my lord. They had these da like rum daiquiris and it was strawberry mango. Oh, 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 oh. so good. So I texted him today whenever I was at Walmart grocery shopping and I was like, hey, do you want to have some strawberry mango daiquiris today? He's like, you don't drink. And I was like, yeah, no kidding. Without the alcohol. <laughs> so the whole family had them and my girls literally licked the cup. It was so good. Anyway, so I'm on my way to go pick up Miss Beth. Sorry, I can't stop drinking that. I'm going to get myself brain freeze. Um, so I'm going to go pick her up. And then me and her, we're going to the one town we've taken you to a few times. We're going to go out there, and then we're going to a completely new town we've never been to before. And I know they have, like, a lot of pet stores out there, a lot of sporting goods stores. Um, I'm not really sure what else. I know there's a Target, so I figure let's just go check everything. It was just, it's so humid out that you literally... You can't breathe when you're outside. It was that hot. I told my husband, I was like, I don't, it's miserable outside. Like, I don't even want to be in the pool because it's just so humid. So, we just stayed in and I cooked a fabulous dinner and I went grocery shopping. And then I was like, you know what? I think we need to go do some dumpster diving. So, it is 10 after 7. I did not want to go early because... <laughs> I would have had a heat stroke for sure. So that's what we're going to do. I'm super excited that you guys were totally down with me doing the boxes because I am putting some together and I, that way too, I can do more lives each week because I've been wanting to do more lives, but I'm like, what am I going to do? Just sit there and like talk to you guys about my boring life. <laughs> like that's not much fun. But this way, it'll give me something to talk to you guys about. And you guys will be getting some awesome stuff for super cheap. So, works out. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, like, so I have the $8, um, what are those things called? Packing, no, what are they called? Oh my god, I hate when I do this. My blade, my blade. <laughs> my brain goes blank lord um the shipping envelopes i have padded envelopes that's what they're called um i just ordered 20 more of those so those should be here next week so what i'm gonna do is i'll do like small stuff like that that can fit in those bags and those bags will be ten dollars plus eight dollars shipping then i'm gonna do twenty dollar boxes for fifteen dollars shipping and $40 boxes for $23 shipping. Or is it 23 or 21? I don't know. We'll say 21. I don't care. I'll pay the two extra dollars. So we'll do three different size boxes. And I'm going to try my best to do at least two to three of each size in each one of my lives. So that way, or sell a good a bit of boxes. A good bit of box. I can't talk. For the love of Jesus, somebody help me with my speech. <laughs> I And a lot of you were like, no, you should just do bidding. I don't want to do that. Like, the whole reason that I'm doing this is to give you guys, like, a great deal. I don't want it to be a bidding war. Like, even if I would start it off at a dollar, I, I just don't want that. I'm just, that's not how I want it to be. Like, that's not how I want to run my channel. That's not, that's just not the type of person I am. 
I know I could probably make more money that way, but that's not what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to help you guys out and still make a little bit of money, but I, that's just not me. I just like to pass along savings to other people, especially the people that support me and my channel, and it's my way of saying thank you, and I make a little bit of money, and you guys save a lot of money, and that's how I want it to be, so that's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to shut up, and we're going to go pick up Miss Beth, and we'll see you guys at the dumpsters. All right, we're going to try Ollie's, see if this one gives us anything good. Is, where's what is this called? Tractor, Tractor supply. Tractor supply. you guys around so you can see all the stores and this is just one plaza so we have a target right here oh and what is that that is a michael's and then we have an office max a dollar tree a dick's, a dick's sporting goods so we're gonna go in the back of this shopping center and see if we can find any dumpsters that have goodies so i'll bring you back when we find we're them done. It is pet 
smart. Go figure. The one that's in my phone. Dumpster is nasty. Very expensive. Yeah, that's huge. It just needs glued. Yeah. Is the piece in there? Yep. Nice. I can gorilla glue it. We really both thought it was like a it. coyote. And it's flowers or weeds. Oh That's God. hilarious. What is that? chips and I got dumpster juice on my leg 
and all their black bags were not here you can have one um all their black bags had trash in them so i don't know if it was illegal dumpage or what there were five, five fireworks going on this place i know we're like literally right in the middle of all the fireworks right every now. single one of them we thought right. we were gonna have them in the car. Oh my god, there is one right there. All right. Oh, let's see. Now we're gonna head back towards home. And I got a wedgie the size of Texas. Oops, I'm recording. <laughs> I jacked up hood. I don't know if you can really tell, like right there. See how there's a big old dent? I don't think I showed them yet. before we had no idea what their garbage schedule was so we did get a lot of stuff out of the pet dumpster um, there's gonna be a couple things that I got too that you're not gonna see because I gave them to Beth so like all those magazines I just got I gave those to Beth um, the dog food container we got out of the pet dumpster she has a huge dog like when I say huge um, I mean huge it's like 200 pounds she has a, a dojo and it's um, like albino it's white oh my god her name's Gracie and she's the cutest thing I've ever seen and she is the sweetest dog it's the nicest dog I took my girls over there when they were like two and they were like pulling on her tail and she just laid there <laughs> it's a huge dog food container with wheels and it even had two like little measuring cup scoops which, I mean, she would need like eight of those probably to feed her dog, but it's super cute. Those are expensive and it had the lid and everything and it's on wheels. So I gave her a bunch of the Powerades that we got from the first Staples we went to. I gave her a bunch of the Strawberry per Perrier. You guys know I can't say that word. <laughs> um, she took a couple cans of that. So, I'm glad we stopped at, stopped at CVS, though, because I got popcorn and all those Perry, Perrier's, Perry, Perrier, Perrier, whatever, that stuff. And I got Dr. Pepper, which is my drink, and I got um, a couple two liters of Coke. They were in some mucky, nasty dumpster juice in the bottom, but they didn't get inside the bottle it just needs washed off with soap and water which I will actually antibacterial wipe all of that stuff before it comes into my home but we'll go over everything that I got I mean I didn't get a ton but I got a good amount of stuff see you guys tomorrow at some point whether it be at the dumpsters again or in my game room for the full reveal 
But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and Beth. We had so much fun. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So I have the Twinkies in my car. Told them some of their rafts have popped and we were in the pool all day. That's why we're all, like our hair is soaked. We literally just got out of the pool and I was like, well, they kept saying they wanted a new raft and we went out to lunch today. Where'd we go to lunch? Applebee's. They love Applebee's. So I took them to lunch and um, they were very good all day. So they said they wanted new rafts. I said, well, let's go. And they're like, right now? <laughs> I was like, yeah, right now. So I'm going to take them to get new rafts. By the way, it's Sunday and I don't have to work. The bar has been closed the past two days. So I'm going to take them to get new rafts. And then I figured... Since we're gonna be right near the candle dumpster and the five below is where we're going, I might as well check those dumpsters while I'm there, right? Right. So I figured I'd bring you along with me and we'll see if there's anything there. And if there's not, no big deal. Uh, you won't see this video. If there is, then you'll see it. So the girls got their rafts and a new toy because mommy's a sucker. So let's go check the candle dumpster really quickly. Looks like somebody was already here and went through everything. Check the makeup dumpster. Replenishing primer and setting spray. This stuff is so expensive. Oh, I'm keeping these two. Sorry, guys. Man, those dumpsters are hot. My poor armpits are burning from touching the dumpster. <laughs> what is up, all my YouTube peeps? Welcome to the kind of small full reveal. <laughs> so, you've seen me and Miss Beth go out on 4th of July. Happy belated 4th of July to all my dumpster peeps. We went to three different towns that night because literally we were not having that much luck. We started at seven o'clock and I didn't get home until after 12. So it was a long night of diving. <laughs> the first place we went was a town I took, I've taken you guys there, I think three or four other times. And sadly, we only found one dumpster full of stuff. So let's jump on in to the first town we went to. We went to a Staples dumpster and that was the only dumpster in the whole town that had anything other than the Aldi's dumpster. So we got, let's see, a bunch of these Powerade sports drinks. This is Mountain Berry Blast. I got a bunch, but I gave Beth a whole bunch of these for her son. So I kept three. My girls will probably drink that. 10 of these um, zero squeezed lemonade vitamin waters I kept. I don't think myself or the girls would drink these because they're the zero sugar and you know we like the sugary stuff. So I'm gonna take these to work. I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting behind me that needs to go to work. So this will get added into that. And then the other dumpster I went to in that town was um, the Aldi's dumpster. And the only thing we could salvage, I got two full bottles of game. Two full bottles. So I will definitely use those. Where did we go? We went to the new town and we, I mean, there was so many different plazas out there, guys. We probably went to four or five different shopping plazas all within three miles and only found stuff at two dumpsters. One you didn't even see 
because it was literally a few things, which was, um, I think it was Sprint or AT&T or T-Mobile, one of those. And we just got some charging cables. Let's see. So this is just a wall pluggy anything, <laughs> as I call them. <laughs> and let's see what kind of charger this is. This looks like for a Samsung. So I'm gonna put together a cell phone box, which I'm gonna tell you more about the boxes at the end of this video. And also, I've already reached 12,500 subscribers. So we're gonna do a giveaway. I'm not showing you guys what's in the giveaway, but just know it's awesome. So in order to enter that giveaway, you must A, be subscribed to my channel. If you're not subscribed, click that button right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. Then click the little bell next to it so that you're notified when I do post new videos. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and comment down below, you know, the usual, Shannon, you're so funny. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just put enter me in the giveaway. That works just fine for me. And you will be entered. And then one week from today, I will go live and announce the winner of the giveaway. So you have one week from today, which is Monday the 6th, I believe. Yeah, July 6th, 2020. Because I also have people that watch these videos like six months down the road and are like, enter me in the giveaway. <laughs> you only have a week and it's July 2020. So one week. So on, what would that be? Seven, what did I say today's date was? Seven, six. So that would be 13th. 7-13-2020, the giveaway ends at noon, Eastern Standard Time. Okay, now let's get back to the rest of the stuff I got. Okay, so we were in that other town, and we stopped at the pet dumpster, and it was literally overflowing. There was so much stuff jam-packed into that dumpster. I did take a huge pet container that was on wheels with a lid, as you saw in my um, dive part of the video when I was coming home. I gave that to Beth. So she kept that. Um, we found these calming support hemp soft chews for dogs. So it looks like they have hemp seed oil, chamomile and lemon balm, magnesium and something I can't pronounce. That's promotes, God, promotes relaxation. So I'm gonna put together a little doggy box and kitty box, animal box, whatever. And this will be in it. I also got, look at how cute this raincoat is. Oh my God, I cannot. It is so tiny. This was $20. A $20 raincoat from Petco. I don't know, one of those. Or PetSmart, something like that. But how adorable is that raincoat for a little dog? I think it's so precious. So this is gonna go in the animal box. We also got some dog clippers. This goes to the, I think it's pronounced Andy's clippers. And these are for dogs. So this is especially if you have like a long haired dog or if you're a groomer, this box would be great for you because these are expensive. So there's a whole bunch of these dog clips for on your clippers. We also got Protex Paws, extra small. Um, these actually go on their little paws, as you can see and <laughs> they're easy to go on and flexible no more muddy paw prints all over the house um, they're disposable but you can wear them over and over again and there's 12 per pack they fit these dogs so if you have any of these dogs they would be perfect so that'll go in the animal box and then we also have some declawing kitty caps so a lot of people are against declawing cats. Um, so these are just little caps you put on their nails to stop them from shredding your couch to pieces. Let's see, it has 40 nail caps, one nail file, three adhesive tubes, and three applicator tips, which I'm guessing that was the thing I just dropped out. So there's regular pink, and then there's the glitter. How cute is that? So that's gonna go in the animal box. We also have a Bearded Dragon Food Sampler Value Pack. So all of that is in there. So anybody that has a Bearded Dragon, this would be good for you. 
Um, if not, you could sell this. I'm sure you would make a pretty penny off of selling this. Then, oh my goodness, we grabbed that box out. And this is an aquatic piece of decor. So you put it in a fish tank, essentially. Guys, $70. Do you see that price? Crazy. So the tail is broken off but it's in full right here. I just need to glue it back on, which I was starting to do, but then I got frustrated because I need like somebody to hold it while I'm trying to glue it and then like set it down somewhere so that it stays. So I'll have to have my husband help me with that. So that, I don't think I'm gonna be able to ship that because <laughs> that's huge. So what I'll probably do is just put it, like fix it and then put it on like, um, Facebook marketplace or something like that. But $70 for that. That is straight crazy to me. All right, that's everything we got at the pet dumpster. Then we stopped at a Dollar General out there and I got Imagine Ink Mickey Mouse book with the marker. My kids loved these when they were little. We got three packs of emergency turmeric and ginger. Um, they are smushed, but they're individual packets. See, individual packets in there. So they're perfectly fine. I also got a three pack of Beck Razors, Comfort Three, and Grandma Boots's Kettle Style Potato Chips. And still good, all the air is in the bag. So these will go to work because I do not ship food. Then um, we stopped at the CVS dumpster and I got a ton of magazines seen me go like this because I picked out that it was like a hemp or marijuana magazine or something. So I gave all the magazines to Miss Beth and because she was actually just saying like, oh man, I wish we could find some magazines. I, I really need some new ones. And boom, we found a whole dumpster full. So I gave those to Miss Beth. We got all these drinks. So there's 12 sparkling strawberry waters. I'm not saying the name because I cannot say it. <laughs> So we got 12 of these. Um, actually, I got more. Beth took a couple of these too. We got a two liter of Seagram's ginger ale, two two liters of Coca-Cola, and I did have to wash all these off. They had dumpster funk on them, so that was gross. And I got five cans of Dr. Pepper. All of the tops are like this, so I just have to be super careful when I open them, but I'll still drink them. I just won't drink them out of the can because, I mean, I still wash them, but, you know, they were still in dumpster funk. I got two bags of air hot butter flavored popcorn, which will go to work as well. That was all from Saturday night when we went out on 4th of July. Then I went out yesterday after me and the girls were swimming because I took them to Five Below to get new grass, and I was like, well... The makeup dumpster and the candle dumpster and the five below dumpster are right there so I stopped and looked sadly nothing in the candle dumpster nothing in the five below dumpster but I got Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 water infused with watermelon extract primer and setting spray but they are not allowed to use testers anymore so anytime they get, because they get testers, I believe, in with their shipment that are already marked testers, if I may be wrong, but I'm not positive. So this was a display, as you can see. So they threw it away, but this bottle is completely full. It's never been used. And if, even if it was, it's not like they stuck their finger in it, you spray it, you know? Oh my God, it smells like watermelon. It smells so good. Okay, so I'm keeping that, sorry. Then I got this Lily Ponds, I'm probably saying it wrong, it might be Lele, I don't know, Tarte Palette. And oh my goodness, I have the eyeshadow on, well some of them, and the highlighter. This is amazing. So it's eyeshadow and blush, but everything else in there hasn't been used. Brand spanking new, but it was a display or a tester. This is right there on the mirror and they're not allowed to have those anymore so i got it so i'm keeping this also and that my friends is everything that we got dumpster diving i know it wasn't much but we took a chance going to a town that we have never went dumpster diving in before 
I tried looking up their trash pickup schedule and I could not find anything. Plus, it doesn't matter even if, you know, one plaza may be picked up Monday and two dumpsters down in that same plaza may be picked up Wednesday. They're different all the time. So it's hard unless you know the schedule from dumpster diving all the time. I mean, we took a chance and at least we know now everything that's out there, but we'll just have to go out another time. But don't worry because I'm off today and so is my hubby. So me and Beth are gonna go out to the go-to town tonight. So hopefully we have a really good score tonight because I think what I'm gonna do, don't quote me, it's either gonna be Tuesday or Thursday this week. I am going to go live with boxes. And that is where you will now buy the boxes. You will need to come on the live and I'll have a couple different size boxes with different pricing from a total of $18 to $62, I think, or $61, I'm not sure. But that's the most expensive and that includes the shipping. So I will um, start getting some boxes together and I'm gonna try to do a couple different ones, like I'll do a candle box, a hair care box, um, a animal box, I don't know. I have home decor, I have tons of stuff. So I just need to go through everything and start making up little boxes and then I'll try to do this either once a week or once every two weeks. Depends on how much stuff I find. So be on the lookout for that. A lot of you have commented and said, where is the community tab? When you click onto my little face, my little icon on my channel, and you go to my channel, it'll say at the top, videos, playlists, community, all the way to the far right, and like about or something, like about me. If you click on community, that brings you all the things that like all my messages to you guys that I just type up. And I usually don't put a picture, sometimes I do. But it's not a video, it's just like a comment from me to you guys. That is where the community tab is. But if you were already subscribed to my channel, that message will still display. You'll still get a notification, you should. And it'll come up and it'll look like a video and you click on it and it'll just take you to the community tab automatically. And it'll tell you the message like, hey guys, I'm gonna be going live this day at this time. So if you wanna buy some boxes, tune in. That's how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show everybody the boxes, like one at a time. The first person that says they'll take it, I'll, I'll write it down. Second person in line, I'm gonna write them down too because I've had so many people tell me they wanted the makeup and they're not getting back to me. So I, I've had to move on from those people. I'm sorry, but I can't hold this stuff forever. So like I, I only have so much room. So if you have emailed me about makeup and you haven't answered me, I'm sorry, but I had to move on to the next person. I, I don't want to be rude. I'm not trying to be rude, but I just need to make space for everything. I'm bringing in stuff three times a week sometimes. So you have to understand, like I only have so much room. So that's how we're going to do it. And hopefully it works out that way. And like I said, I'm going to have different size boxes with different price ranges. So. There'll be something hopefully for everybody that everybody can afford. The cheapest one is gonna be $10 and $8 shipping. So less than $20, you'll get a nice padded envelope filled with stuff. So that's how we're gonna do it. Hopefully that works out. I'm, I'm thinking it will, but we're gonna give it a try. We're not gonna do bidding because I don't like that. As I said in the video earlier, that's just not how I am. That's not what I'm about. I like to give you guys a great deal and make a little bit of money for myself at the same time. So that's how we're gonna do it. Now I'm gonna get this video edited and get my booty in gear because I've been slacking. I know it is Monday and I've had this stuff sitting here since Saturday, but I just wanted to enjoy a day with my munchkins yesterday and relax and I did just that. So I'm completely refreshed and ready to go now. So I'm gonna get all this stuff boxed up and start getting boxes together and I will put out on the community tab when I'm gonna do my live. But tonight I need to go and do a little bit more diving because if I'm gonna do these boxes, I need to get more stuff. So, fingers crossed we have some luck tonight and I think Miss Beth is gonna come with me again tonight, so that's awesome. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me these past few days. I truly appreciate every last one of you. Oh, also, guess what I got today? 
I got a P.O. box. Yay! <laughs> so um, I will have the P.O. box information in the description box below. If you would ever like to send me a letter or the girls a letter or even gifts, but I do not expect gifts, please, please, please know that. Uh, I do appreciate them, but I never expect them. I truly love just getting letters or cards from you guys. It totally, totally melts my heart. So if you guys do want to send me anything, the information will be in the description box below. And I'm excited about that. Like I feel like a true YouTuber right now, <laughs> even though I'm not. <laughs> all right. So thank you guys again. And I will talk to you all in those comments down below. And as always, happy diving. Bye guys.